tonight on Old Spirits. Our investigation of the Wayside Inn concludes in room 14, considered by staff and guests as the most haunted room. With different strategies and devices applied, T and Phil compare and contrast what was recorded between visits, while unseen innkeepers prepare for yet another visit from OSI. Is it the nicest room in the house? In the, in the tavern? Mm-hmm. We've seen quite a few of them. They can use their gadgets, we could use our gadgets again, and we could probably... Oh, I'm gonna wait and see what it's what Paratech has to say. Oh, Ooh. look at that! It just lit. It just lit up. And here we are, everyone, for part two of our investigation of the Wayside Inn. I'm T. Morris. I'm Phil Rossi. And again, this th- this is where we cross the finish line. And <laughs> one of the things I'm really excited about this particular investigation, both from our previous part and this one, is how we're doing it. Because the original thought that Pip and I had was we would do Wayside in 2023, we wound up falling in love with the place and we were like, okay, we're gonna do this again, but we'll bring Phil and Tina in and it'll be great. And then because life happens, you couldn't make it. So now we had two investigations separated literally by a year. And being able to do a compare and a contrast right. of the same locations. The same investigators. Yeah. And and just to see what happens. Yeah, was, maybe with some different gear, maybe with a few different uh, different approaches. That has been so much fun. I even noticed in the part one the way we changed our filming style. I mean, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we are learning. We continue to learn as yeah. we go. Yeah, and we hope that you guys are enjoying this. Seeing not only seeing the evolution, but the fruits of this evolution as as we learn how to engage with you as our viewers more with our content. And now we're reaching the last part of our investigation in the most haunted room, and that is documented, by the way, the most haunted room, where, yes, Pip and I slept. Beautiful. I I knew you'd appreciate Mm -hmm. that. I do, I do. Um, do. It's room 14, and the cool thing about the way 14 is set up is that you've got the main bedroom, Mm -hmm. and then you've got the bathroom in the back, Mm -hmm. but then there's this lovely parlor area, and Pip and I could not walk in that parlor area and just go, okay, and that's why we ended. That's why we ended this particular investigation with just the two of us in the parlor, just getting a feel for the place. And you're gonna see the difference between 2023 and 2024. All set? All set. Here we go. I mean, on the whole, I I love this room. I think this this connecting suite is lovely. Yeah, yeah. That's really nice. Is it the nicest room in the house? In the, in the tavern? Mm-hmm. We've seen quite a few of them. <clears throat> the two suites, one and two, are very nice. Yeah. I, I love this room. I think this, this connecting suite is lovely. Yeah, yeah. That's really nice. Is it the nicest room in the house? In the, in the tavern? Mm-hmm. We've seen quite a few of them. <clears throat> the two suites, one and two, are very nice. Yeah. I, I love this room. I the, this, this connecting suite is lovely. Yeah, yeah. That's really nice. Is it the nicest room in the house? In the, in the tavern? Mm-hmm. We've seen quite a few of them. <clears throat> the two suites, one and two, are very nice. Yeah. I would That'd say the, that would be the nice. one that I would want Phil and, Phil and us to to, uh, to share the sweets. Share the sweets. I mean, we could do. What do you think? I'm doing 15 and 16. I don't think, but mm. or 15, 14 and 15. But okay. So we're here today in room 14 of the Wayside Inn in Middletown, Virginia. Reportedly, this is the most haunted room. I think it's also one of the most beautiful rooms. It's a lovely room. It's an absolutely lovely room. You get your own bed and you get this little (coughs) parlor area with a beautiful fireplace. 
you need to do your business, the lavatory is all the way over here. It's very nice. nice. And out of the way. <clears throat> so I'm uh, Philippa Pip. And I'm T. Or. Well, I want to see if the, I want to see if the uh, 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 spirit box. He is not the, his birth name, shall we say? So. No, it's not that. It's that people people use a, a substitute for my birth name that I don't care for, which is why I rarely use it. Ah. But <clears throat> you might know it. It was mentioned last night. It was mentioned last night. Yes. Mm. And we wanted to reach out and see if there was anyone here with us tonight. We find Wayside a very particular place, a very peculiar place, in that if you were to ask me, do I think, do I think this establishment is haunted? I'm not so sure. Hmm. I'm not so sure. Especially being in room 14, which has been very quiet. And that's unusual considering you had us all to yourselves the other night. <laughs> I don't think there was but two other living people in the whole place. <clears throat> so we come here. <clears throat> we just come here out of respect. Yes. We are out of respect. We're trying to learn a little bit about the history of the Wayside or Larrick's Tavern or uh, the Wilkinson uh, Inn. Tavern? I can't remember what it was called, but there was the Wilkinsons were the first people. But the only really activity that we've had is really just feelings, impressions. So we wanted to find out if there was anybody in here <clears throat> that wanted to talk to us. If you're in the bedroom, uh, come through and take a seat. We've got a spare chair for you right there, this beautiful green chair by the window. I know a good uh, tavern keeper or tavern keeper's wife tries to be <clears throat> invisible, right? Tries to let the guests have their own space and not intrude too much. But this is your time to make yourself known, to let us know your name. <coughs> this red blinking light in front of the fireplace, if you touch that, it will light up and it will let us know that you're here. Talk with me. Just came up. I didn't I just didn't realize I didn't have the sound up on this. I apologize. <coughs> did just well, we talk have, with me. We have different devices that can help with that. There's a device next to the lamp that <coughs> can record your voice if you speak into it. You just go up to that fuzzy top, and you speak into that, we should be able to hear you. You can tell us your name, if you like. There's also that device with the blinking blue light see that down in front of the chair? I put it there so that you could use it to communicate with us. If you go to one side of it, it will make the red light go off. If you go to the other side of it, we can make the green light go off. And then we can have a full conversation. <laughs> and if you just want to let us know you're here, there's the device in front of the fireplace. And the closer you get to it, the <coughs> the lights will light up, and it'll even make a soft sound just to let us know you're here. It will not hurt you. None of these, None of these devices will hurt you. These are all merely ways of communicating. Because yes, we do want to talk to you.
I kind of got the feeling that you're in this room more than the bedroom because, you know. This would be more social. Room. This would be a more social <coughs> place to talk. Do you, <clears throat> did you ever sit by the, the window and look out? Keep an eye out for guests approaching, coaches coming, people on horseback, drovers. I read a story in the early days <clears throat> that you would have a boy sitting out on the hillside above the tavern, keeping an eye on the road. And when he saw like a puff of dust from like a carriage or a, or a wagon or something, he would run down to the tavern to let them know that someone was coming and to get the hot food ready and horses ready and all of that sort of stuff. So it seems like for being... Okay. So you remember that? That's true? It's good to know. Now, the way we can make this work we can make the green light mean yes, and if you go to the other side <clears throat> and play with that light, that can mean no. Valentina here? They could use their gadgets, we could use our gadgets again, and we could probably... No. <laughs> now I'm going to make that assumption that that was no. You do not want us to bring back Valentina here. So, <clears throat> let me ask you, Do you have a reason that you don't want Philantina here? Would meeting new people with gadgets... It's empty. Do you prefer this place to be empty? That was a definite no. Yeah. That was a definite So you like people have... I mean, if they're a tavern people, you want rooms, you want heads on beds, right? <clears throat> so... Are you just worried that all these gadgets, do these gadgets frighten you, these devices that we have here? You're doing great with this one. You're doing great with this one. But do the gadgets here frighten you a little bit? Green, yes. Red, no. Do these gadgets frighten you? These devices, these strange little odd things, bright lights, and music that, that we're putting around the room. <clears throat> and if they don't scare you, do they bother you? Do you find them bothersome? Annoying. Trite. <laughs> that was. That's all I can give. What was that? That was a phone. I think it's my phone. But I don't think I took my phone into the bathroom. Oh, it could be also noise coming from downstairs in the lobby. Mm -hmm. Or only above the stairs. And that person downstairs has Discord. <laughs> Do you enjoy sitting in this lovely space? Is that why you prefer it empty? See, I can't decide from empty whether they want it empty or they're upset it's empty. <clears throat> but then why would they? But then why would they, they? They react with that very definite no about bringing Valentina here. 
Uh, Phil and Tina are our best friends. They they actually Phil got me involved with what we're doing here, and then we collectively got our wives involved as well. Sort of how tavern keepers get their wives involved in tavern exactly. keeping. You so we think we think you would love Phil and Tina. And you've asked about them all weekend. Hmm. Uh, or that, at least the people here have been asking about them all weekend. That is the interesting thing. Is because I feel like there's a, a thread of gossip, you know, in this place. Like, yeah. you've been listening to us as we're talking about our friends and, you know, things we're doing. And that's fine. I mean, that's the point of being in a social space. But uh, I hope that you've got accustomed to us, maybe, a little bit. And it'd be okay if we came back? Would you like us to come back? If you would like us to come back, you can make the green light go off, or you can be honest and look at us as a... You know, evaluate us by other guests and decide if you want to make that red light go off. Do you enjoy our company? Green for yes, red for no. In danger. Do we make you feel in danger? None of this is going to hurt you or is meant to hurt you. <clears throat> I know that might seem strange, but I know there have been other people who have come in here, I'm sure, with gadgets and devices and asked you questions. And they've been less than pleasant. Yes. They might have been rude people. We try never to be rude and always respectful. Well, let me ask you this. Do you think we are in danger reaching out and trying to talk to people like you. Green for yes, red for no. Do you think what we're doing right now is dangerous? It's so hard for us to understand something like in danger because are you talking about us? Are you talking about yourself? Or are you remembering a time when this place was in danger? Because <clears throat> this, this, this location was in danger several times. Mm. But that is so, it shows you how much love there is for this property and for this inn. Mm. I mean, uh, in 1985, when there was a fire, uh, they basically talked about the fact they might have to knock the whole building down. But Mr. Bernstein, who owned the place at the time, said, no, we're going to rebuild it. Annoying. <laughs> it was annoying when the fire happened. Grandmother. Grandmother. You had an annoying grandmother? <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. Bernstein was, I don't think you would think he was annoying because he made sure that this place was fixed up after the fire. And I know... Were we annoying you? Like, like, like uh, some spin, like, uh, some... Annoying spin, grandmother. Like some annoying grandmother. We're still learning about this place and the people that were here. So sometimes we might get things wrong as we're trying to learn. But if you speak, 
loudly enough, maybe we can hear you later on in our recording devices. Maggie, I'm sure that you had a uh, phonograph. I'm sure you know what that is. Micaiah and Susan, it might be more like, seem like it's magic, but it's not. It's what we call science. Open that third eye. Actually, my friend Tina has a a, a, a balm that is supposed to the smells and stuff is supposed to open up your third eye. Got to make sure to close that third eye, of course. You don't want to wander around like that. But uh, we are going to. I think we're going to have to look at some. Uh, evidence when we go home, just trying to figure out what is going on in this wonderful place. Just not this week. Not this week, but we will eventually... No, you know we've got a busy week ahead. We talked about that. Yeah, we talked about that. So... That tavern gossip. Maybe that's the way we need to approach this. Yes, we're having tavern... Next time is that this is a tavern. Taverns thrived on gossip, and so whatever we are talking about even in private we need to think but probably not saying, in private not in private because you're right that, <clears throat> that's something I never thought I didn't even equate until just now the questions about who's Phil bring out Tina yeah it's like I heard you talking about yeah. these people who are these people or what's the tea yeah spill the gossip yeah was the gossip about these people Mm -hmm. And you think about how many thousands and thousands of conversations over a, a beer or a, beer, a, a hard cider. Or in that parlor. Mm -hmm. All oh, sorts man. of people gossiping about all sorts of things. I mean, it's basically what the internet is now. It's just a big site yeah. for gossip. Yeah, the internet, the internet, which is our, which is our, our basically our, our tavern. Yes, wow. our online, we have a... It's a tavern that never closes. <laughs> yes. Unfortunately, it doesn't serve beers, but, you know. Maybe it'd be a nicer place if it did serve beers. <laughs> Sometimes this place called the Internet doesn't necessarily uh, say the nice things about it, mm. as you heard us talking about this morning. So maybe you could actually say that the Wayside Inn is listening. Yeah. Yeah. Which is why it doesn't talk a lot, because it spends most of its time listening as opposed mm -hmm. to talking. Mm -hmm. And also, perhaps you don't want to tell us your gossip. Because <laughs> you don't know us. I would imagine. Right? I would imagine. <clears throat> Tavern keeps were like, um... Mm. They were like, they were like the modern-day Perez Hiltons. Yes. They, yes. They um, loved to dish the gossip. But they rarely talked about this. I would feel like middle Middletown would they would come to the the tavern and they'd be like, so. Uh, well, that's where you Israel. Find what's, uh, what's, 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 what's what's the what's the, what's the story? exciting stories or? Uh, Have you heard about the tensions? Yeah, yes. In Jack. Washington D.C. Mm. Will the South secede? Mm. I can imagine there would have been a lot of conversations about. A lot of conversations uh, about succession and the Civil War that were very important conversations. Very heated conversations. Yes. But we've never asked. I mean, I presume uh, that Jacob uh, would have, because he owned slaves, I suspect would have been succession, would have wanted to succeed from the union. Secede. Secede? Not succeed. Succeed. Secede. Secede. Secede from the union. From the union.
but even after the Civil War, his business is... So it was never right. personal. It was probably business. Yes, probably it's business related. Business. We know similar situations happen right now. But after the Civil War, and we know that the tavern continued on. Yeah. Crime. It is a crime now to... It is a crime now. Slavery is a crime. Yes. Hunger. Hmm. I am hungry. <laughs> Not sure if I'm going to pick up uh, something to eat here. Are we perhaps talking to one of the enslaved people? And I'm sure if you've heard us talking about it, you know that uh, slavery is no longer legal, as you said, a crime. So you are no longer enslaved. And your descendants are no longer enslaved. So that's a good thing. Perhaps the Lasters, I'm not, the, the, sorry, the Larix would not have thought so, but uh, I'm sure that was based on monetary reasoning. But the fact that the tavern has gone on for 300 years seems to show that you really didn't need to have uh, slaves to keep it going. Yes, thank you. That is okay. Now we're getting confused messages. That is my name. Wait a minute. So, Kelly. <clears throat> what did it say? Kelly. What were you talking about before it said Philippa? I'm talking about slavery. So, Philippa, no. Hmm. So maybe you're not talking to one of the slaves. Ah, yes, I was asking that. Okay. Well, there were probably people that came after. The slaves probably never got up here. Maybe, well, maybe cleaning. one or two to, to clean, but. Yeah. But the fact that it said crime, I mean, there could be later people that came after. Yeah. There were the Rhodes family. There was the Burns, Mr. Bernstein, obviously. Uh, later peoples that came here. But uh, thank you for picking out my name. My name very seldom gets picked out. I don't think I've ever heard it much. You get a lot, a lot more fills. The fact that you got the you got the Philippa no. It was, mm. it was very that was very direct. Are you are you starting to like warm up to us a little bit? Which is a shame because we're probably going to get. <laughs> we are probably going to be uh, checking out of the fine establishment and uh, heading on our way. We're going to go uh, up the road to check out the battlefield. But we're definitely going to try to make some time to come back. Mm. And I think if you met Phil and Tina, you would love them. They're very kind, respectful people. Phil is also a musician. And I feel like the tavern probably had music. There would have been somebody playing something or other. You're not telling me booze and music go together. So are we getting ready to pack up? Is there anything you would like to tell us before we leave? You can speak in that uh, yeah. that black box that's next to the lamp. You can speak into that and it'll record your voice and went to a phonograph. If you know what a phonograph was. If you're one of the earlier uh, members of the deception, you may not recognize what a phonograph is, but it's similar to a phonograph. Or you can just make the green light go off and say, yes, it was a pleasure having you. Or you can say, no, you can leave now. <laughs> or you've got the device here in front of the fireplace that you can make all the lights light up if you just get close. And that just lets us know you're here. It has. Mm, it's interesting. It hasn't really gone off a lot, but... It hasn't gone off, but it's been... It's been constant. It's like it was last night a bit. No. 
this is this is far less than what it was last mm. night. <clears throat> last night it never stopped. It never stopped last night. And, we, and I wanted to make sure I, I got that on, on on video. It did not stop. Once you turn it on, it just kept pulsating down there. Mm. But here it's been quiet, and then it will there's a few pulses. Mm. Quiet again. But thank you. I hope you have. Uh enjoyed having us in your establishment. Um, hopefully we weren't too annoying. Um, we have enjoyed our stay here. We have loved to stay. In we will Mexico. tell people about the oh, Wayside yeah. Inn. Oh yeah. You know, because that's how you get more people to come to a tavern is if you talk about it and say how wonderful it was. And this has been a wonderful time. Uh, got a lot of quality time with you. And that's what we're looking for with our friends Phil and Tina. We think we'd like to bring them out here and have them enjoy some quality time like we did. Mm. I don't know if we can time it the same way where we have <laughs> those practical to ourselves, but it was really nice to be able to have that. What kind of technology is this? What kind of TV is this? Cammy said, if you are here with us, can you show us by making the ball light up? All right, we can do that. But that one we can do. Uh, and I'll even go one step further, and I'll, so I'm going to wait and see what it's, what Paratech has to say. Oh, Ooh. look at that. It just lit. It just lit up. Can you see that, Cammy? There's a bit Did of delay. Did you catch that, Cammy? If you were, <laughs> congratulations, Cammy. You just you just got your first resp your your first full on response, <laughs> and this responded with frequency. Frequency. As if we're on the right frequency. You did do it, Cammy. You did it, Cammy. <laughs> you did it. You might want to clip that, Cammy. That's that that's that's one you want that's to send. That's a good one. Stuff. Look at this. Now wait. Now I'm gonna, I'm going to do another test here, because I was moving my foot, which would jiggle this foot. I want to make sure that my nervous tick isn't setting it off. Nope, nope. That's a hard no. Hard no. <laughs> so someone is in I here did. with us. How are you? I was going to go get another device to see if you wanted to communicate with us. Are you okay with that? If you're, if you would like to have something else that would. <laughs> what was that? That was the spike. Oh, the spike is rebooting. Why the spike was rebooting. I why the spike was rebooting. Yes, I didn't. Honestly, Cammy, I didn't think that would work. <laughs> I didn't think that would work either, Cammy. That's so. Feel free to clip that. That's Cammy it. did clip it. All right. Did you stay at the inn? That's a good one. Okay, hang on. Let me let me get something else here. I'm just gonna try to. You might set off the ball, but no, no. Oh, you set off the thing, but not too bad. See, the the reason I have that I want to stay is that I want to turn. I want to shut this parlor area up and just leave a camera running and see what happens with the cat ball, oh. maybe the foot tracker and stuff. I'll check that word in just a second, hon. Yes, it's making a word. the word the word is player 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 so we asked if they were staying at the inn player <laughs> were you playing uh, maybe some some games at the inn <clears throat> got dice some board games or something uh so we're gonna ask bonnie uh spirits what is your opinion on opinion on domesticated rats So I just realized the um, fleer. Mm -hmm. I was saying that it was saying that it had. I think this is low battery. Honey. Oh, there's another one out there. <clears throat> so Cammy, that Cammy is asking, can you play with the cat ball again? I always wonder how much energy it takes to do that. All right, let's uh, let me throw this out here again. All right. Uh, 
I'll actually put this on the couch. This might actually work okay on the couch. Okay. So I just found out something. The new iPad that I picked up. Uh, it's, uh, I thought it was 1% mm. left on the iPad. It's 1% left on the FLIR. The iPad's 65%. Oh, okay. So I'm going to fire up some. Yeah. What, what's that word? Capture. Capture. Well, now we are, now let's make something clear. We're not out to capture any ghost. We're not out to do that. No, 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 no. We are out to, we want, we want to try and uh, communicate. We're trying to, we're trying, we're trying to set up a rapport. Okay. Yes, we're not, we're definitely not trying to catch you or anything. Uh, this isn't a, a sneaky plan to uh, capture you or anything. No. We would like to see you. We would like to communicate with you. And the word is? Author. 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 Yeah. <laughs> well, in fact, we Isn't are both that, authors. Yes, we are authors. Did you hear us talking about that before? Interesting. Okay. Wait, generating an image. Oh, you got, have you got? Uh, I've got Seer on here. I thought I had. Uh, I thought I had Ghost Tube proper, but I only have Seer in here. What's it giving you? It's. Oh, that was interesting. Uh, it gave me that. What is that? Cur those look like it looks, fancy it, curtains. It looks like fancy curtains, like you would see it on a theater. Well, we've got, fan you know what? The Wayside Theater. The Wayside Theater. Is that Mr. Bernstein? Ah, Cammy says, can you give us another picture? Author. Well, actually, Bonnie, um, T and I are both authors. Yeah, we're both writers. We're both writers, but I was an actor occasionally. No, not occasionally. Uh, <laughs> occasionally an author? But, that, but, you know, that could also be a response to, uh, to Cammy's request. Can you give us another picture? Occasionally, you know, it's, it's a possibility. Um, well, that's true. Uh, well, it's a question, Bonnie. Is is it talking about us? Did it overhear us talking about that, or did the person who stayed here perhaps was an author? I don't know of any authors that came out well, of Middletown. We, have, a, we uh, have another way that you can you can communicate with us. If you want to take a seat over here, um, or just let us know that you're here. Well, you've already let us know that you're here with the cat ball. And by the way, not only do we thank you for that, Cammy thanks you for that too. But you can also go to this uh, this box right here, this uh, this black box with the silver stick. And if you get near it, you don't even have to touch it. If you get near it, it'll let us know that you're here. Misty still has, here with us. Misty has a good question. <coughs> I'll just wait for that word to come through. Yeah. Yeah. That's the name of it. That's, yeah. <laughs> well, Misty said, um, did you grow up near the inn? Oh, that's that. All right. Um, so if you can give us an indication, either through Paratech, through the uh, the music box here with the silver stick, or through the cat ball, or even Seer, did you grow up near Wayside Inn? Or Larrick's Tavern. Or Larrick's Tavern. They had a few other names. Wilkinson's yeah. Tavern. Wilkinson's Tavern, Larrick's. <laughs> Larrick's uh, Hotel. Did you grow up in Middleton? Yeah. Did you grow up in Middletown, Virginia? What was life like when you were uh, when you were uh, growing up in this area? If you grew up in this area. Oh, 
I heard a breathy sound. Did you? Okay. Could have been could have been me moving. moving oh, my you hand. clipped it. Thanks, Cammy. Oh wow. Oh, and we just got a silver. We just got a ball. Oh, and the ball's going off. Okay. So maybe you did hear a breathy sound, Cammy. Or maybe this is someone that's lived in the area. True. Okay, thanks, Cammy. We'll we'll listen to it uh, later on. Uh, Bonnie says, "What were pets like when you were alive?" This just came back with child. Child. Hmm. Um, if this is a child entity that we're talking to, um, did you have pets as a child? Did you have a dog or did you have a cat or a pony or a pony? A lot of farmland in this area. Mm -hmm. A lot of people around this area were farmers. Can you, can you show me a picture of your pet? Can you tell me what your pet was? <clears throat> or its name? Thanks, Cammy. We'll check it out tomorrow when we surface. <laughs> Burn. Oh. Now, there was a fire here. There was indeed a fire here. But the fire wasn't until... Like 85. 85, so. 1985. Ball just went off. And, okay. <laughs> what kind of picture are we getting? Got a freaky picture. Oh, we got love a our freaky. freaky. Got, a, got a freaky, okay. a freaky, like, abstract, this is what people look like kind of thing. Wow. Is that you looking out the window? Because that looks like curtains behind. Yeah, more cat balls, Cammy. We love the cat balls. Have I told you how I much you we talk so, about cat balls? I tell you, yeah, you, you love the cat balls. Mm. You love them, they're cat balls. I'm wondering, Cammy, was the breath you heard, was it this sound? I don't I, know. Well, I, I know that around the time she, she said that she heard a breath, there was, I was moving my arm, so mm. I'm just... Well, it's clipped, so we can always right. go and check. It's the nice thing once you've, mm -hmm. you know... The, act the actual investigation sometimes isn't the, um, isn't the hard part. Sometimes it's just going through all the information. Very abstract, another abstract image. Is that a river or a... It, it, well, to me, it looks like we, another cat ball. Mm -hmm. Um, looks like someone is asleep here, and it's from the, from the nose up. You know, from the, oh. And they could just be dreaming. Oh, is that a picture of a dream? Mm. Could be. Like, maybe it's time for you guys to think about going to bed. <laughs> <clears throat> well, that's what I was thinking, was that we should leave a camera running here, leave the cat ball and a few things going, and just shut the doors and leave it Tower. to see what happens. Tower. Cammy says you were set fully still. Okay. Okay. Well, that's, that's always exciting. Nothing against the beds here. They, as we discovered, they have very comfortable beds here. Hmm. Well, I wanted to go and sleep in the Bernstein suite. You want to sleep in the, uh, mm -hmm. in the other room? Yeah. Okay. Get access to echo, reverb, and white noise in a white noise generator with Ghost Tube Fox. Okay. Bonnie says, tell them what, that when the door is closed and stuff, we will still be here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're allowed to leave it sitting here streaming, are we? Oh, no, no, I no. couldn't do that. I, uh, that, that, would be, that would be asking quite a bit. However, we will be recording. Yes. It's, this is any, it would be an enormous undertaking to be to just allow the stream to go that long. Um, <laughs> but that's okay, that. Bonnie, because uh, T goes on uh, and reviews footage. Cat oh, yeah. ball. Wow. Again. This is the most the cat ball has gone off at all. I know. Do you like that? 
Well, this is the room and this is actually the area where people have reported hearing footsteps. Mm. And what we'll do is, I, what I'll be doing is I will be, I will be, I'll probably take a camera, plug it into a power source and then let it record all night. Yeah. Uh, and we'll leave the cat balls out. And we can leave the cat balls out. Okay, we can and I can also um, uh, make sure that the um, record, yeah, if we have an audio recorder, recorder, recorder is going. A couple of movement devices. Yes, Cammy, we are, we are glad that you put it there. <laughs> Heat. So we burn, we have heat again. That's interesting. Yeah. Well, actually, Cammy, we we're going to leave this room because we we have actually booked two rooms, yeah. so we can switch to the other room, yeah. which is the Bernstein suite, which is also very nice. Bernstein suite is very nice. Yes. And uh, we will just leave the uh, leave it going and see yeah. what happens. We did that. We we slept in this room. We this we is, have slept. In we this have room. slept in this room. Capital. We have slept in this room. I. Oh, it's all it's all jumping now, right? Yep. We start to get tired. We start to think, oh, maybe it's the end of the investigation. Okay, we like, may need to we may need to start looking up pictures of Mr. Bernstein because I now have a picture. It's a pretty generic picture, but it's a picture of some some gentleman in a suit sitting at a desk. Okay. And we were talking about the Bernstein suite. Mm hmm So I don't know because I remember that one time we. Um, no, was it was it us or was it Amy's? Uh, yeah, it might have been Amy's crypt. Um, they were at, I think, the old hospital. Did, have they been at the old hospital? I'm actually watching it move. I think that might be an optical illusion, honey. Well, something's nudging it. Yeah, the cat ball is well, Something's nudging it. I'm not saying that it's... Ooh. I'm not saying it's not getting nudged, but I'm not seeing it move. Now, granted, the, 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 the light... The light is, is a little hard to... Hmm. Look at that go. Yeah, Maybe we'll just leave a, a couple of cat balls in here and hey. Once again. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, if it gets nudged, the floor is a bit flatter and less uneven there. Yeah. But it's still But it's it's in one place. It's not Yeah, we, we made we made it we made it stay we made it stay put. Hmm. But uh, we did yes, see it goes again. <laughs> we did. Uh, yeah, and I was about to talk. Jeez, oh, and I was about to talk. We we did stay in this room, and we, we did had have, a pretty decent sleep. We had a pretty think. decent sleep. I mean, we didn't have any problems with this room. Uh, you know, we're just um, we're trying out the other, we're trying out new things. <laughs> now, again, that also brings up a really good question: if if. And if a room is yeah. If a if a if a specific room is haunted, mm. then what would be the difference of a, of the room next to it not being haunted? And it could be something happened. Mm -hmm. You know, something happened in this particular space. There could be somebody. There could be somebody here uh, in this room mm. that um, had a very traumatic or very. Um, and traumatic, not always traumatic. They could have, mm. they could have had a wonderful time, a wonderful memory in this room. This could be their favorite room. Yeah, a lot, a lot of, a lot of things at play. A lot of things. At play. I haven't, Bonnie. I haven't had a chance to put Twitch in the word bank because I'm, I'm watching right. Cat right now, right. so I can't right, put Bonnie. it in there. Yeah, sorry, Bonnie. Um, Pip is actually keeping an eye on, uh, on, on stream to make sure that the things are moving at a good clip and, and all that stuff. <laughs> and also watching Capel. Yeah. I have to also make sure to set up um, set up mods in uh, um, in YouTube. Oh uh, yeah. I know I uh, I I have the I have the, the tools, I just haven't had the time. <laughs> Here comes a word. Crazy. Crazy. Some people would think that this is a little odd, yes. what we're doing. Yeah. Some people would think this is very odd, you know, being, you know, coming to a haunted hotel, if you will, <laughs> sleeping in a haunted room, yada, yada, yada. I, I tend to think it's more about, oh, I just lost my IR over there. I just realized. <clears throat> Do the oh, no, that was me. That, that one was definitely that you. That one was definitely me. Because you stood on that plank. Hmm. 
which again, very very compelling. I set it off, but only when I only when I crossed uh, crossed that plank. Hmm. Hmm. Well, what time? It's uh, now twelve fifty three. Let's see what. Let's see what our word is. I tell you what. This device over here has been very quiet. Cap on the other hand has not. We are starting to feel a little tired. Hand. Hand. You are you playing with the cap or well, with your hand? No, no, I. I just picked this up and I just felt the need to hold it in my hand. <laughs> I don't know, again, I don't know if that's necessarily a... a, a mm. But um, here's the thing, if you would like for us to, if you're okay with it, are you all right with us uh, calling it a night and uh, shutting down our, our, our audience over here and going to bed? <laughs> Let's right see what it has to time. say. <laughs> Yikes. Right on Yikes. Time. I don't even know what that means. It's, that looked like the other picture. Yeah, yeah. If that's you, Mr. Bernstein, then uh, maybe the picture, you need to practice a little painting a little bit because I heard you were a very nice man. Mm. So. That's a, man, that's a. That cared a lot about this place. So. Missile. Okay, on that note, I think it's time for me to go. <laughs> missile. Because I don't quite understand the, what, what missile uh, could be pertaining to. I was just going to say, would you like to... Would you like... Uh, um, oh, that's funny. Because that IR emitter over there is, is starting to phase out and it's blinking. It's causing enough interference in the other one. Do you see this? Ooh, what's that? It's coming from that IR emitter in the bottom. There's a there's a IR emitter and it's blinking. So it, that's that's my when when the when the when the gear starts saying I'm shutting down. That's when I'm like, okay, it's time for us to shut down. So I was going to ask for one last response, but I think you know you've been more than diligent with uh, with Ghost Tube Seer, um, with some of the funny and odd things you did in Paratech. But the cat ball has been wonderful. You don't have to do a thing with the with the the, the music box here with the silver stick. I, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. We're gonna go on ahead and we're gonna wrap this up. So let me So Phil, I gotta say, I feel like this investigation really did feel like a long play investigation. Because like you said, and like we said at the very beginning, we had the same investigators at the same location, separated almost by a full year. Yeah. And just watching the difference between what we, what we experienced and what we found in that first investigation mm -hmm. of the wayside and then the most recent one it's it's to me it's still mind-blowing um yeah. that voice that we caught that humming <laughs> anytime anytime and and i'm gonna say this is not something that happens particularly often no and we have been fortunate enough to have captured similar EVPs multiple times where you are actually hearing something melodic, yeah. something recognizable yeah. as a human voice. And, and it's, not, can, com it's yeah. not coming from downstairs. No, it's, it's not, not coming, coming from the hallway. <laughs> it's not coming from upstairs. Yeah. And it's in harmony, which yeah. uh, Pip has admitted f fully and freely that she does not carry. It could be the biggest bucket in the world, and she cannot carry a tune. And she's she's not even giving me the wife look. She's just no. nodding and going, this. Yeah. I own it, you know? And yeah. and it's, it, but to me, that humming just sent a chill down my mm -hmm. spine. And uh, there was there was also a lot of other activity that happened in that room. There was the <laughs> there was the ball that went off on command, which made it, the the person that was in our chat that night it made her year. She was like, I made the ball go off. <laughs> so, well, actually, the spirit made the ball go off. Yes, the spirit <laughs> made the ball go off, but she felt like she prompted it. Well, you know what and, I'll and, say? And, and 
there's a rabbit hole there. Was oh, yeah. Spirit, or was it her intention of wanting the ball to go off? It's even more of a rabbit hole when the person in question said, ask them to do that again. <laughs> and I'm like, you already clipped it. Yeah. Move forward, move forward, just, just oh, ever forward. Um, Seer had come to play that night as well. And I'm glad you brought up Seer, and because I'm, I'm, I want to talk about the ghost to Arsenal? Vanilla and Ghost Tube Seer. Mm -hmm. So I have, it's taken me a while to get on board with the apps, which is shocking considering, you know, the mold That is shocking. Side because, of, yeah, of, yeah, of yeah. Me. I thought you'd, I thought you'd be uh, like first in line, but I didn't it's, realize this. It's taken me, it's taken me, I've always been somewhat skeptical of the apps, but Ghost Tube has stolen the show so many times, mm -hmm. not necessarily on its own as a, as a standalone, but in the way it's corroborated with our other gear. I give credit for Amy and Jared, the people who created it goes to. Mm -hmm. I give them nothing but credit. I know that people tend to throw a lot of hate their way. You either think GhostTube is the best app out there or you think it's total crap. But here's the thing that I feel like that gives Amy and Jared a lot of credence and a lot of validity. They say the moment you launch the app, it's whether it's whether it's whether it's Vox, whether it's vanilla, whether it is Seer, it says don't use this by itself. Yeah. And I see that happen a lot on the different ghost shows. They're, they're just using ghost tube by themselves. And I'm like, no, you need yeah. to have this with other devices right. because that's when it really shines. Yeah. But Amy and Jared, what they have offered us, what they have created, in my opinion, is really one of the best Swiss army knives you can have in the field next to Eddie. And then Sear, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, Again, I my instinct is pushing back on Seer, mm -hmm. but just some of the images that have come up unprompted, unprompted, heed you. Yeah, yeah. Again, it's so it's it's difficult to just pass off or dismiss or, or dismiss. dismiss outright. We want to hear from you. We want to know what you thought of the investigation of the Wayside Inn. Did you catch anything we missed, or? Do you want to check it out for yourself? By all means, go on ahead and leave us a comment. And while you're there, like the video and subscribe to the channel and enable those notifications for whenever we put up new content. Because that is something we do a lot here at Old Spirits. We put up a lot of new content. So Phil, you got anything else you want to add? Well, there is one thing that I do want to add. Make sure to check out the membership section. T is mentioning all this content that's going to be dropping and as you would imagine, there's a lot of content that doesn't make it into these episodes that is still great and compelling content, and we're going to be sharing a lot of that for our members. And thank you again so much for all the support you show us over here at OSI. On behalf of everyone here, thanks for watching. Take care, stay safe, and we'll see you in the field.